In the world of tomorrow, our valuable data could be permanently protected from drive failure, theft, accidental erasure, corruption or spying, while being available to us within moments on any networked computer in the world. In the world of tomorrow, any computer could become your computer for the time you need it, without your home or office computer being online and without leaving a single trace of your presence once you log off. Science fiction? Tomorrow might be closer than you think. Perpetual data is a revolutionary new concept in the way we store, share and protect the world's hugely expanding base of knowledge. Perpetual data brings to the world a paradigm change in encryption and data storage systems. Perpetual data opens up new possibilities that are today as challenging to foresee as the impact of the Internet itself was just a decade ago. Perpetual data is an all-encompassing solution to the most pressing problems facing the interconnected world today. We've all seen the headlines. The current way we connect, share and protect our data has serious vulnerabilities with the potential to shatter our data-dependent society either by accident or as the result of intended harm. Why are today's systems so vulnerable? Because today our internet system consists of servers and connected computers on which the files are normally stored in one place as complete files readable by anyone. If the walls of system security are penetrated, the data is just ripe for the picking, even if the data has been encrypted. If it is all on one computer or local network, it can still be stolen or erased. In the perpetual data system, data is never vulnerable. As soon as a document is saved, remarkable things happen. The code is automatically sliced, shuffled, shredded and encrypted by a unique self-generating encoding algorithm that uses the data itself to create the unique encryption key. This data is then distributed by blind lottery to the network. This network spans the planet. All of this thoroughly encrypted code now resides in several time zones, securely stored in multiple copies in locked space on other networked computers using a portion of whatever unused hard drive space is available. Do you find this concept difficult to picture? One way to envision the perpetual data system is as an impenetrable universal mist in the sense that all data would be broken into indistinguishable bits like the invisible and ungraspable droplets of mist. However, with the right key, which only the user possesses, and which the user can reconfigure at will, those droplets of mist that respond to that key will assemble themselves into usable code in an instant, anywhere on the network. In another sense, this data would be like a matrix of lights that would be instantly aware if one light went out. In the inevitable event that one chunk of data were to go offline due to disconnection, drive failure, or what have you, this would be immediately noticed by its replicates elsewhere in the network and a replacement produced. In this instance, multiple copies are desirable as they are the guarantee of perpetual data availability. But for the purpose of resource efficiency, multiple copies can also be eliminated in the perpetual data system. Much of the code we all use is the same code. Most of the time, most of our code is just taking up drive space as we are only using a tiny portion of it at any one time. On the perpetual data network, useless redundancy would be eliminated. Operating systems, program software, and a lot of common documents would exist in perpetuity on the network always available in the latest update or upgrade to anyone with the key. You could walk into a public library or internet cafe, sit down, enter your username, PIN number and password and be using your own computer within seconds, even if your computer is offline or no longer exists. You have just logged into all of your emails, documents, 
data and resources just as if you were at home or at your office workstation. Even if your computer was stolen or consigned to recycling long ago, everything is still saved in perpetual data. And your secure login has been achieved by a process called anonymous or self-authentication. No third party was involved, just you, the machine and the software. And at no time was your password transmitted on the network, just an encrypted mishmash of PIN and username. Even if a hacker manages with great effort to decode these, they are of no use without the password. To the world, you are completely anonymous. And your digital work and data resources reside not on vulnerable hard drives that could fail, be offline, corrupted, stolen or spied upon, but on a huge distributed anonymous network with state-of-the-art protection. And you'll never lose your data again, because backing up everything is automatic with perpetual data. In addition to providing worldwide data access and storage in total privacy, perpetual data saves your work to the network with every save command. Now, you might be thinking, could this turn into a Big Brother, Space Odyssey or Terminator movie nightmare? Could the computers develop a mind of their own and turn against us? It's a fascinating, fearful scenario, but the answer is no, quite the opposite for several very elementary reasons. First, there is no central brain. The computers on which the data are stored are our computers. Our computers know there is so much hard drive space being used by perpetual data. That's it. That's all the local computers know. And no computer anywhere can read the stored data without your key permitting it to do so. Secondly, the software encrypts and distributes data, then retrieves and decrypts that data again. That's all it knows how to do. It does not have the necessary skills to add your grocery bill, much less rule the world. It doesn't even know what the data is. It cannot read it as content. It just performs some amazing math on it to make it both unreadable and unrecognizable to anyone without the key. It then chops it up into little bits and delivers those bits to randomly chosen locations on the network. And thirdly, this is a network of equals with no one in charge. There is no central authority with inspection privileges. Absolutely no one, human or machine, has the key to your data unless you give it to them. No companies are hosting your files. No government can retrieve your data without your cooperation. There is no hard drive that can be stolen or compromised. And once set up, there is no need for technicians. Perpetual data is a self-repairing system. Revolutionary? You bet. Beyond the convenience for personal use, this amazing technical development has truly staggering implications. It opens up whole new frontiers in personal and public communication, commercial exchange and genuine democracy. The world will never be the same. The Perpetual Data Group of Technical Visionaries believes very strongly that this is not just another new software. It is a technological revolution. And as a revolution, it should not become an obscenely profitable monopoly in private hands. Instead, it should be a means of enhancing the freedom and prosperity of all of us aboard this planet. To achieve this goal, they have taken two very crucial steps. First, they have very thoroughly patented every step of the process, putting all the technical secrets under lock and key. Secondly, they have entrusted these patents to a charitable foundation whose voting members are to be the future users of the